down and check out this little town. Almost as bad as that stasis chamber in Mishima's fortress. of this village. We need to get out of this village. Yeah! 
I can't leave without my buddy Superfly. Something's wrong here. Don't know what, but there's something badly out of whack. Complete destruction!
I can't leave without Makiko and Superfly. Hey, watch where you're going. Superfly. Hey, a church. It's the safest looking place around here. Let's go in. Those things give me the creeps. That's not all they'll give you if you're not careful. Ever hear of the bubonic plague? The stuff's highly contagious. Whole damn village seems to be infested. So watch yourselves. Point taken. Who's there? Please, don't hurt me. My name is Masildi. I mean you no harm, I swear it. Then why were you hiding? Like you, I was seeking refuge from the Buboids. Are you strangers to this region? Yes. We come from a faraway land. Mm, never have I seen such a weapon as this. Magnificent craftsmanship. I suspect magic had a hand in its creation. I can still sense the sword's latent power. Are you some sort of mystic warriors? Uh, I, I guess you could say that. We're on a quest. Of a noble nature? I suppose so. We're out to overthrow an evil tyrant. Unfortunately, we can't reach him until we find a way to recharge our sword. I see. Then perhaps there's a way that you can help my village, and we can help you in return. How so? You are in the domain of King Gareth, tenth in the Gareth bloodline, and one of the most revered and respected rulers in our realm. For many years we prospered under the good king's rule, but as you can see, our land is now festering with the taint of a dreadful disease. A hideous plague has corrupted the very souls of my people. What was once a fruitful, peaceful village is now home to a legion of rotting corpses and the walking dead. The one responsible for this madness is a powerful necromancer named Nar. From his lair in the underworld, he brought forth the plague in order to enslave our village and recruit unwilling victims for his army of the Dan. That's awful. Why hasn't your king done anything to stop him? Alas, poor King Gareth has gone insane. A former paladin, he long ago lost all reason and went completely mad. I don't get it. What drove him over the edge? The sudden death of his family. You see, the plague transformed his beloved wife and child into witless beasts, forcing the king to burn them alive. Consumed by grief, he smashed the purifier against their gravestones, shattering the weapon into seven pieces. Purifier? <laughs> uh, forgive me, I'm getting ahead of myself. The purifier is a holy sword forged by Gareth's ancestors many generations ago. It is said to possess unspeakable amounts of magic. Even now that it's broken? 
Such power can never truly be broken, only temporarily severed. If the Purifier were ever recovered, it could be used to defeat Nara for all time, and perhaps even restore the King's sanity. Well aware of the sword's potential, Nara scattered the Seven Shards throughout the King's castle and surrounding lands. To make matters worse, he used his own dark magic to ally himself with the King and convince him that his family was deliberately infected with the plague by parties unknown. In his futile search for the fictitious killer, the desperate monarch grew even more despondent, becoming oblivious to the fact that the people under his rule were either all dead or dying in droves from the same plague that had claimed his wife and child. And now you want us to find the pieces of this purifier? Well, the way I see it, it may be the only hope you have of ever finding sufficient energy to charge your own sword. He may be right. What do you guys say? Doesn't look like we've got much choice. Agreed. Let's get to it. Fine. Where do we start? Look beyond the mountain pass. But be forewarned that you may encounter some dangerous sorcerers before reaching King Gareth. Why am I not surprised? Anything else? Actually, yes. You'll have to locate three special keystones in order to open the village gates. Special? In what way? The keystones were carved in three distinct shapes. A trigon, a hexagon, and a quadrangle. One piece is said to be sleeping with the undead. The other is being held by a dragon. And the third was placed in the cellar of the very church we're now standing in. <laughs> Unfortunately, I barricaded the entrance to the cellar some years ago. I'm afraid it's inaccessible. There's supposed to be another way to get down there, but for the life of me, I <laughs> can't remember how. I'm sorry. Don't worry, Musildi. We won't fail you. If there's some sort of secret passageway to the cellar hidden here somewhere, we'll find it. here.
you know, getting old standing around here. Pushing me around. Mm. look very safe. What did they build this place for anyway? this village.
This path should take us up the side of the mountain and put us right in front of Gareth's castle. Hopefully we won't encounter too much trouble along the way. Mm. Is something wrong? Just feeling a bit queasy from that rat bite. It'll pass. Not if that rat was a carrier from the plague that's been sweeping over this godforsaken place. Maybe we should stop a while so you can rest. No, I'll be fine. Let's keep going. Suit yourself.